Tonight, a conversation with a death row killer. We hear for the first time from speed freak killer Wesley Sherman time about the FBI's latest dig for victims' remains. We're digging uh, about 200, 250 yards beyond that, and uh, I don't understand why. Good evening, I'm Shannon Brinius. I'm Sam Shane. The death row inmate allowed his phone call with a former FBI agent to be recorded. Now that conversation is being shared only with CBS 13's Laura Cole. She's live in Linden, the site of the latest dig. And you can see where the road is closed here. The FBI uh, picked a spot that at this point has really come under question. Many people close to this case want to know why. Sherman Tyne says he never pointed it out. And for the first time tonight, you're going to hear from him in a phone call from death row. I told him, you know, it may not be right on that spot to backtrack, but never to go forward and way off the grid. That's Wesley Sherman time during a phone conversation with private investigator Rob Dick. It's the first time we've heard Sherman Tyne's voice since May 16, 2001, the day he was sentenced to death. I did not kill these people. Jurors, you've been blinded. You have not heard the whole truth. Sherman Tyne and the PI talk weekly. Dick recorded a recent call where the speed free killer is adamant the FBI is searching for victims in the wrong spot. We're digging about 200, 250 yards beyond that, and uh, I don't understand why. I told him from the little bridge to the guardrails and a culvert that runs underneath the road. So from there, back to the trees is where we have his one, kid, had his one killing ground at spots where he would bury people. Sherman Tyne is referring to Lauren Herzog, his partner in the killings through the 80s and 90s. Herzog killed himself. Since then, Sherman Tyne's been drawing maps and writing letters about possible locations for more victims. In August, the FBI took Sherman Tyne from death row to Linden to point out burial sites. According to him, he has no information that anything should be recovered there. But even after 11 years behind bars, Sherman Tyne still won't admit he killed anyone. Listen here as he describes how he claims to know the FBI is digging in the wrong spot and puts the blame on Herzog. Yeah, another section of field stuff was too hard for him to get into it. It was all fenced in. There was no gates into it. And when you listen to his voice, we all discussed it and really found that he sounds quite normal. You'd never guess that he was a serial killer. So far, his information has led to the recovery of five victims and an unborn baby. And so far, it appears as if his information has been right every single time. All right, Laura, thank you. Live for us tonight in Linden. And now to the story.